Welcome back, guys. Another episode of Talkman Tuesday. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought we were going like, to have technical difficulties for a moment. Why not? Sorry, how are you feeling? I am doing great because we have no technical difficulties. How are you? Pretty good. With that being said, we're going to roll the intro. It's Tuesday, Tuesday, Talkman Tuesday. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Wow, chicka wow wow. Chicka wow wow. Sorry. Have you seen TikTok Live? I have. You yeah, have? You seen like those games that people like challenge each other and like battle it out? See, like, see mm-hmm. who gets more gifts and mm-hmm. makes people want to gift more? I've been on that. I've been gifting a lot. <laughs> You've been gifting? Yes. <laughs> Oof. I just like, I'm like, darn it. This makes it so easy to like give somebody, try to like beat the other person. I'm like, no. <laughs> I've been uh, seeing videos of people, they call it sniping, where uh-huh. it's like one person's losing and then they'll give something big at like two seconds left. So then the other person wins. Mm-hmm. But Dude. I avoid those just because I'm like, it, it just doesn't pique my interest. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, come on, come on. It's like a team effort. I'm like, ah, no. <laughs> I don't even know this person. <laughs> That's the thing. It's I like, want them to win. If I knew them, I would be more likely to do something. But, like, I have no idea who these people are. There are some people that they only do those battles. Like, that's uh-huh. all they do. And so. Dude. Um, I, feel, I feel like I've seen a ton of Brazilians. People do it. Apparently, a lot of people that just do it all day. And, like. Interesting. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I mean, again, I if I had access to that and I knew it worked, I would just put it on randomly and then just like go about my day and just have that going. Because even if you get a couple of people to donate, then it's just like okay, it was a win. And then, um, well, yeah, with those versus battles, it's like these people don't have that much of a big following, but they do it mm-hmm. all day, so mm-hmm. that ranks up like on their top tier list of like the mm-hmm. whole day. They're from, like, Brazil. I'm like, what? This is, like, worldwide. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, oh, wait. They start in the morning. They go up into, like, dinner time. Straight up battles all throughout the day. Like, wow. I mean, if you can make a living doing that, there are harder jobs out there. So. <laughs> <laughs> the craziest thing, you know, this past weekend, this girl was working at, I don't even know what shop it was, but she had, like, an apron on. Um, I'm guessing definitely retail. And this guy, she had, I want to say around, uh, started off with like 20, 30 people, doesn't, uh, has a few thousand people following her, but this guy out of nowhere just started gifting her like big gifts, <laughs> like thousands of points or, uh, I don't know what you call it. Yeah. To the point she got ranked up like from zero to, I want to say she got like 28th around there worldwide. Jeez. This guy sent her like a hundred thousand. Um, I think I, I tried to do the math, and I was like, he just spent three grand in like a matter of like 10, 15 minutes of gifting points. That's ridiculous. This, this girl was going crazy though. She was jumping up and down, dancing. He's like, these customers are seeing, but I don't care. He's like, I love you, David. I love you. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Like, <laughs> Julia, she was still working though. <laughs> she well, was going crazy. One of those things like, fire me, I just made $3,000. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. And I would dance on my way out. Like, <laughs> Dude, yeah, because if he gifted, yeah, 3,000 points, I'm guessing TikTok probably kept like, maybe like 25% or somewhere around that, 20%. Mm-hmm. But yeah, that's still in half an hour. Just for literally going live while working. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> <sighs> and yeah, I don't know what the guy was into, but he was just gifting her huge gifts, and the girl was going crazy. <laughs> Some people just, I feel like, do it for the reactions, and so I wonder if maybe he was making a video on his end mm-hmm. about it and like screen recording it or something, just like look at how these people react. Type of Mr. Stuff. Beast would do that too. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. if, yeah. If I had that money, I would definitely do that. I would definitely screen record. Yeah, and get the reaction because that—that's the kind of reaction you would get. You spend three grand to get that kind of reaction. Do a couple of those, and you have 
a YouTube video. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you make that amount back in the YouTube video if it goes. Yep. And if it does good. <laughs> yeah, I, I watched a bunch of Mr. Beast videos when he would do that. And, and I think you're exactly right. He makes it all back. And so it's not like that. But it's just like, hey, do this. Like, shave off an eyebrow and then I'll gift you a thousand dollars. And it's just like, okay, yeah. And then you get the content out of them shaving an eyebrow. Yeah. And if they get a thousand bucks. If they're streaming, they're perfect for those reaction videos. Because mm -hmm. they know they only had a couple of viewers. It's like, you gave me like a buck. You gave me a thousand. You gave me 10,000. <gasps> <laughs> You'll be jumping up and down while you're supposed to be working. <laughs> <laughs> that tiny customer and she was like these customers are seeing but I don't care I love you David I love you <laughs> I should have screen recorded it I thought it was crazy I'm like dude this guy, I want to like add it up I'm like yeah that's three grand that's like that's insane My like God. how much how much do roses cost are roses like 10 cents 50 cents mm, I want to say it's like a hundred if you do it from the from online, so you don't go through like the app, so they charge you more. Mm -hmm. It's like $185 for what 17,500 points, so it's around what 94 points per dollar. So a rose, I want to say a rose costs a few cents. Okay. That's the case. Because I see people just giving roses away like crazy. So I'm like, those have to be the cheapest. Yep, they're definitely the cheapest. What's like the most expensive? Is it a galaxy? Galaxy's I, like a thousand. A thousand. <laughs> What's a lion? Oh, uh, that's up there too. Because I saw somebody gift a lion one time. Mm -hmm. Okay, for 65 coins, it's 99 cents on the app. Mm -hmm. And then... One coin can get you a rose. Okay. And so forth. And a galaxy is a thousand of those. So, yeah. A thousand coins? Mm hmm. So, those are usually the big ones for a lot of people. Yeah. A thousand. And then. My, uh, my pet peeve videos are the people that are like clicking to, like, pushing my mouse until I get to 10,000. And they're like at 9,998. And it's just like, oh, I can barely do it. Oh, nobody send me a galaxy. It'll restart me. Like, I hate them. Because, <laughs> like, you know, those people just started off, like, at 9,000. And it's just like, they're just not clicking all of it. They're just doing it to get people to stay around. Mm. Oh. You just gave me a good video idea. So lay it down. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Reaction videos. But that's, yeah. That was a good reaction for $3,000. <laughs> yeah, for $3,000, I would hope to get something like that. <laughs> hey, get them in a public setting while they're working and see how they react. That girl did not care at all. It's <laughs> <laughs> good. How, what's like the biggest gift that you've given? Are you just mainly like just a bunch of roses that you give? Yeah, trying yeah. to. <laughs> that's, that's what I would do. I feel like I wouldn't give anything big, but I'm also not giving anybody because I don't know these people. I also like filters that like adds to the face because then it's oh, very the obvious. glasses. Yeah, glasses, <laughs> cowboy hat, and a mustache. Like it is a corgi that dances. Like, oh. And that's it. That's like we get some big reactions because when you can't. The roses, you can somewhat ignore them, but with yeah. the filter on your face, you really can't ignore that. And then Corgi, Corgi takes up the whole chat in front of it, so you can't ignore that either. And do people ignore Corgi. gifts? Yeah, some people do, especially the big timers. Yeah, because they're so used to it, they're just like, oh, thank yeah, you. somebody's giving me money. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> and, and, and the big timers, it's like a consistent basis of like people just sending in gifts. Yeah. So the biggest reactions you get are usually from the smaller people who don't have that yeah. much of a bigger phone, who haven't seen a big gift that usually just get roses or even don't even get roses. Mm hmm So we'll see. Huh. Yeah, not for me, but I'll watch your re uh, reaction video. Oh. <laughs> That's how I'll support the cost. I need to get my income up so I can be like, yeah, I can if <laughs> Well, not, not a $3,000 reaction video. No, no, no. <laughs> We'll start with galaxies. 
Yeah. Not this multiple my... galaxies. That guy was in multiple galaxies. That's insane. <laughs> For five, ten minutes straight. Yeah. Girl was going crazy. And I'm like, yep, that that is completely understandable. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought he was going to stop. He just kept going and going and going. <laughs> Yeah, he had no plan of stopping anytime. <laughs> uh, oh, another news. NBA. You see the Lakers? Oh! Yeah, the Lakers. Lakers are, are still in, and the Nuggets are still in. So mm-hmm. both of our teams are still in it. Um, Lakers play their first game tonight at 9 o'clock. So oh. that I, I hope it's as good of a game that it's supposed to be. That people like have it cracked up to be, I should say. Uh-huh. Just Steph against LeBron. Yo. That's what making it big. Steph versus LeBron. Mm-hmm. Scene. Yeah. I hope they just have a massively high scoring game. <laughs> and it's just like not that I'm like a, a a hater of defense, but I just hope the final score is like one twenty eight to one ten or something like that. It's just like ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guard Steph? Uh <laughs> No idea. <laughs> yeah. You try to get in his face. You better have good cardio, too. <laughs> I've seen those videos of people that were are running with him, and he just he just goes wherever, and then he'll catch the ball and shoot it. Like he, can, mm. he can make it from wherever and shoot it from wherever. And so as he's running around, people are getting so tired just chasing him, running around to different <laughs> spots. <laughs> oh, man. But they see Dylan Brooks. It, but Grizzlies came out saying they're not going to sign him under any circumstances. Really, they did. I was gonna, I was gonna mention something because I had saw it was like a, a headline of an article, like Grizzlies make official statement about Dylan Brooks. But I never saw what it was, and so when we were talking about the NBA, it reminded me of that. And so I was gonna make a note to go check that out after this. But that's what their statement was. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my that's, gosh. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> they could have just like not signed him. Yeah. But they made a statement. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to sign him under any circumstances. It's like, dang. That's like, sure, he kind of screwed the pooch by getting LeBron all mad. Uh-huh. It's not like he lost them that series. It's not just a one person, but they have to have a scapegoat, and he was the easiest target to have on that. They made that statement. I'm like, why would you make that statement for? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, look, they probably they probably tweeted it. You would think. Uh huh. It was like a uh, yeah. I'm not even sure how it got out, but yeah. Yeah. Grizzlies winner. That's crazy. I think the Nuggets are like good, but they don't have that much like media attention and like highlights. That- that's the thing. It's like, I feel like they're such an underrated team and they're a number one seed, but like nobody talks about them. They don't have highlights, man. <laughs> they don't shut their threes like Steph Curry. <laughs> there, <yeah. laughs> it's like when um, the Joker, jo- Jovic, Novik, Jokic. Jokic. It's like when Jokic gets MVP, I'm like, where's his highlights? <laughs> and then you see his stats, I'm like, wow. Yeah. Well, I didn't see any highlights. <laughs> well, I, I think there, it was earlier, uh, like multiple months ago, but he had a triple-double in the first half of his game. Mm. Like, he got a triple-double in one half of basketball. That's just insane. And I think I remember seeing that stat. But yeah. I'm guessing his play is not that, like, highlightable or, like, that action pack. He's just a big scores. guy underneath. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he shoots the three or anything like that. He probably can, but, like, that's just not his game. Mm-hmm. And so, <laughs> it's like, yeah, like Nuggets. They're always up there. Mm-hmm. No media attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're not the Lakers. <laughs> the Lakers, <laughs> whether they're good or bad, they're going to be in the press. <laughs> the Memphis Grizzlies do not intend to re sign Dylan Brooks. <laughs> They could have just like <laughs> they could have just let that go. <laughs> uh, yeah, they made an official statement. <laughs> I mean, you know, like you you've got to be holding a grudge to make a statement like that as an organization against one of your players. Uh-huh. Like, and again, you should have a grudge, but he was also trying to be a competitor. But I don't know. I'm not gonna defend a guy that I don't care about, but. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of like that he made that statement to feel up like everybody knew he just gave fuel to LeBron 
and yeah. his teammates. Mm-hmm. It's like, and I feel like that's their way of saying like, hey, if you're gonna blame anybody, blame this guy. Don't blame us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's how I think it's messed up. Like they get they gave a scapegoat out mm-hmm. as an organization, like, and not even like at the end of the season, like what three days or something after. Uh, <laughs> no time to breathe on it. <laughs> oh, It'll be funny if you said to, to the Lakers or something. <laughs> Could you imagine? I don't, I think LeBron James, with all of his power that he has, would veto that decision well, remember, very quickly. Remember what Kobe did? That mm-hmm. the like um that famous scene of the player inbounding the ball and like fakes it right in front of his face. Mm-hmm. Kobe doesn't. Um, mm-hmm. Move or anything, um, and so once that guy who like taunted him um, was up for free agency, I think Kobe gave him a call, like, "Hey, everything about like joining the Lakers, like, want to go play for us?" And, like he got his respect because he taunted him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like there's a there's a mutual respect at some level. Uh-huh. I, I don't think that that's the same. <laughs> Uh, that LeBron James and Dylan Brooks have, but uh... <laughs> it'll be it'll be funny. If, yeah, <laughs> probably not gonna happen. Yeah, I wouldn't hold my breath on that. Oh, he'll probably go to the Nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a no, because then he would draw attention to the Nuggets. The Nuggets don't like attention. <laughs> they like to be like just in their own little world. Mm-hmm. And then LeBron James got zero MVP votes. Zero. For the first I mean, time. he didn't have that good of a year. Hmm. I'm, I'm surprised that, because Joel Embiid won it, I'm surprised that Jokic didn't win it. Mm-hmm. I feel like Jokic was the front runner the entire time, and then Embiid kind of just swooped in. I'm telling you, no media attention. Mm-hmm. Like the storyline. I, still, I feel like is it Embiid hurt? I'm not sure. I know that there's just been a lot of injuries, and I feel feel like I heard his name, but I might also just be making that up completely. Like I know Jimmy Butler's hurt on the uh, Heat. Rolled ankle. I'm not sure. Is that what it is? Mm-hmm. Mm. And he he played on it, and then they asked him, "Is like it feels like a rolled ankle?" I was like, "Oh." Mm-hmm. He's out. Yeah, it's one of those things that probably swolled up, swole, got, sw- got swollen, swelled up, swelled up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what's the future tense or past tense of swole? <laughs> Is <it> swelled? <laughs> I'm going swelled. It's swelled up. <laughs> I was like, you don't want to ask me. <laughs> Present, future, past. Why do we have one for age? Yeah, I don't know what this like. I don't know it why. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know why this is right, but I just know this is right. <laughs> yeah, I was never good at conjugations. <laughs> like, I know what I'm trying to say. I'll use the present tense for everything. <laughs> Change your whole sentence to make it where you, yep. where you know how yep. to say it. <laughs> uh, let's see. And is the cocky... The, are they on playoffs too? Yep, yeah. hockey's in the playoffs. So basketball and hockey are both in playoffs. So in like no time at all, it's just gonna be um, baseball. That's like the only sport that's happening. Like one of the big sports in America. Oh. Um, and so that's gonna be a little lull time because the NFL, which is I've come to realize that football is my favorite. American football is my favorite sport because mm. um, that doesn't start till September. Mm. Ooh. September. And who do you root for in American fo- football? The Chicago Bears, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> I am sadly a loyal fan of the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> and my son will be too. <laughs> <laughs> I remember somebody saying something about the Bears. Like, yeah, my Sundays, they usually start off very happy because they get to watch the Bears and then they end up really sad. <laughs> they yep. don't... <laughs> and every year I'm so optimistic. It's going to be a good year. My only goal is that the Bears finish at least like with 500 like a 500 record. Just have as many wins as you do losses. I don't necessarily need a crazy good year. Just don't suck. Mm-hmm. That's all. 
you would think that that would be enough, but nope. Then what happens? Then they lose. <laughs> and they lose again. And they lose again. <laughs> uh, go below 500. Hey. Yes, <laughs> but hey. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's what that number means. I'm like, well, what are you saying, 500? 500. Like, what? <laughs> it's like when betting over and under. And I'm like, no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it, it took me a while to like figure out all of that stuff, too. Mm-hmm. But I'm not suggesting people do this, but it's like the more you do it, the more familiar you get, which is a terrible way. But it's like, hey, the more that you do anything, the more familiar that you get. But it's a whole different world when you watch games because you have money on it compared to just watching it for the love of the game. (laughs) That's why I made a rule that, like, I will never bet on the Chicago Bears just because – if they lose, like I will never bet against them, and so then when they lose, then I lose money and they lose, and so I'm double sad. So it's just a way to make myself happy. <laughs> Some people bet against their team, so no, no matter what happens, they're happy. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm like, that's a good way to think about it, but yeah. then I feel like I'd be secretly rooting against my team. Uh huh. Yeah, I didn't realize what, like sports is one thing that would make me like upset very easily. <laughs> and it's like things you have no control over. Like you, we're we're getting mad about people that are just living their lives. <laughs> like, uh, hey, like don't walk, run, run. The game's not over. Yeah. <laughs> Get your butt in there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I was watching Barcelona soccer earlier, and I'm like, how are you guys not scoring? Like they they're terrible, and it's like Sawyer. Don't get worked up. You will never watch another Barcelona game the rest of the year, most likely. Like, why are you getting so into this one? Uh, and it was just because it was the only thing that was on TV. So I was watching it. Uh, they're doing actually really good this year. <laughs> yeah, they are doing really well. They I forgot who they played today, but they were playing like a, a bad team, and then they had a the other team got a red card, so it was eleven on ten. Ooh. And like they didn't score until the eighty fifth minute. And so oh. it was just forever. And I'm just yeah. like, come on. Yeah. Oh. They ask him if you want to watch hockey. Hockey is such a fun sport to watch. Like I, I very much enjoy watching hockey. The um the Panthers, the Florida Panthers mm. are in. They beat oh, who did they beat? They beat, I wanna say the Boston Bruins, and the Boston Bruins had a historic season this year uh, with, like, the best record or, like, the most points out of any other NHL team in the history of the NHL. Mm-hmm. And then the Panthers beat them. <laughs> so they get they got out the first round. Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Kind of reminds you, like, the Warriors. Good run. They couldn't finish it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, did you get a haircut? Um, yeah, when did I get my haircut? I guess, yeah, I got my haircut between last podcast and this podcast. Uh, I'm, I will refuse to say good haircut to you because last time I did, you didn't get a haircut. <laughs> you might, until you, you do your, your full head shave, <laughs> if that comes up again, I will not wish you a good haircut because you might just be having a different hairstyle that day. <laughs> Can I notice, like, my hair is all over the place? Because I usually wear a hat. Yeah. So the hat, you can't really tell. It's a saber. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I got headphones up. Yeah. See, now you're trying to keep, you gotta put your headphones back. <laughs> I can't hear you. I'm like, hey, hello. Yeah, you you can't tell with your hat like what your hairstyle is. It hides it very well, except for obviously the sides. But I feel like the sides of your hair are generally the same length, no matter what. Mm-hmm. Like you can't really tell, at least on on video. Yeah, it's it's kind of getting close to the point where you can tell. So I'm right yeah, here. cut my hair. And then in the morning, I'm just like, put a hood, hood up until like the warm up's done. I'm like, oh. Yeah. And then I'm like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. When, Ooh. when do you know when you're going to get a haircut? Like, what's your, like, breaking point of when you say, okay, I need to go get a haircut? Kind of like this part, you. <laughs> you got the curl around the ear. <laughs> yeah. That and then if I put on a hat and it's noticeable that I need a haircut, it's also getting to that point. Yeah. And then I think since I've been wearing a hat a lot more 
Like these past few years, I had I just let it grow out. Yeah. Cause I don't do anything with my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, once I found the hat, I'm like, oh. <laughs> and it gives you a reason to wear the hat, a cowboy hat, especially indoors. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> we sell hats. <laughs> we sell hats. Do you like mine? You should go buy one. Thank you. <laughs> I'm a walking salesman. <laughs> <laughs> the, the woman would always, would always catch on. I was like, "You're wearing them to like promote them." Yeah, yeah. And then they would like get their husbands like, "See, you should get one. You look good on it." The uh-huh. husband love to say that to the husbands. <laughs> the husbands would be like, "Uh, okay." <laughs> See, I don't think I could pull off a cowboy hat. I feel like I am very good. Like, not very good. That sounded super cocky. I'm comfortable in like a just normal baseball cap. Uh-huh. But, like, anything else, I just feel like, like never will I try a fedora. I don't think I can ever work a fedora. Mm-hmm. Um, or, like, the bowlers, caps, things like that. I don't think I I could work any baseball hat. Mm-hmm. Or, I'm sorry, any hat besides a baseball cap. That's what I meant to say. Okay. But I'm also very not very adventurous, so. Mm-hmm. Probably whenever you go to, like, a country singer. Does Candace like country? Do you like country? Um, I'm not the biggest country fan. I'll listen to country. Uh, but, like, I know songs here and there. But I don't know, like, all one artist songs or anything like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But to fit in. Yeah. I can see. <laughs> I don't know why. If Candace like country, I can see us going to a country um, concert and ha- having Candace make you, like, put on a hat. Like, come on. Good match. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it would probably have to be before the baby or something. <laughs> have to the baby. We um, uh we are going to the Taylor Swift concert. Ah. Uh, um. When is it? Early July? No, it's not early July. I think it's June, July, something around there. She'll get mad at me for not knowing this, but um, she's gonna be very pregnant. Very, very <laughs> pregnant. <laughs> And the Jonas Brothers just released their concert dates, and yesterday she told me, she goes, I mean, I, j- I just really want to see a Jonas Brothers concert at some point. And then today they released their concert date, so it was a very <laughs> weird timing. Um, but she goes, oh, look at the dates, sign. and I'm like, I will be completely honest with you, I have zero desire to go to a Jonas Brothers concert, uh-huh. so she's going to go with somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> that was smart. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually reading uh, No More Mr. Nice Guy, and that was actually like one of the points. Like, make sure you get like your needs met, and be like, set your boundaries up. <laughs> yeah, like don't just do everything to please the woman, and she's probably not gonna like that either. <laughs> yep, it's all about laying down the law. I do that so well. <laughs> don't tell her that. <laughs> but like, it was like case after case that it, like when the guy would like quote unquote lay down the law or like put down like what he would like or wouldn't like the woman would be like yes I want you to stand up for yourself <laughs> yeah <laughs> like what what <laughs> you're saying you want me to go like, but if you don't want to don't go I'm like, <laughs> yeah but you told me two or three times to go <laughs> like yeah <laughs> what's with this back and forth <laughs> <sighs> and, yeah I don't know how I got yeah I didn't know what Mr. Nice Guy Oh, in the lives, I got into a live of a dating coach. <laughs> so I just like, oh my gosh, what? <laughs> Dude, I'm going through like lives and everything. A lot of Brazilian lives. Um, some in Europe too. And then dating coaches. <laughs> like, <laughs> they want you to sign up for like this course. And I'm like, I just want book recommendations. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Recommended No More Mr. Nice Guy. Some two or three books of like relationships. Like, huh, interesting. <laughs> it's, yeah, fascinating. I mean, how, how well would this play out? <laughs> <laughs> One book, um, it's called, just in the title, <laughs> The Way of the Superior Man. Whoa, that doesn't sound like a very good book. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, <laughs> Uh, even the author put it, I was like, maybe I shouldn't have titled it The Way of the Superior Man, but, like, The Way of the Superior, like, um, like, either dominant tendencies or something like that. Because it doesn't necessarily mean that, like, the superior man has these tendencies. But it's mostly, like, the person who has dominant traits or more mm-hmm. 
Yeah. They made it like, yeah, where the differences between, um, I would say not male and female, but like more, I guess stereotypical male, female, but they didn't put it male, female. Like they put it as in more feeling like more, I don't know how to explain it. Like more dominant, more submissive. Yeah, type of things. Yeah. That was interesting. Huh. So you did make it a point where like it doesn't necessarily mean you have to be male, but these tendencies like usually in a relationship one has more than the other. Yeah. You gotta like not everyone's the same. And sometimes one well, yeah, both books did say like set your boundaries up. And mm-hmm. even though your other partner may first be against it, they'll be proud of you for doing it. Because knowing that like you you can stand up for yourself, then you can stand up for our family, type of thing. Yeah. <laughs> I feel yeah. like that's important in any relationship that you have, even if it is just like a friendship or something like that. Like if one person is always like, hey, can you do that? And you're always saying yes, 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 yes to whatever it is. Then it's mm-hmm. just like, OK, well, uh, what if you say no one time and then you feel like you're kind of locked in on it? And so setting the boundaries of knowing, like, hey, I help what I can, but I might not always be able to help. And just being like, OK, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> yeah. And what was another thing? Um, if like your partner doesn't know exactly where they want to go, instead of asking them where they want to go and have like a suspense, like I don't know, um, they like make a surprise, be like, "Hey, get ready at uh, eight. We're going out for dinner." And if they ask you like, "Where?" It's like it's a surprise, and see mm-hmm. how they react. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh? Interesting. My yeah. wife would yell at me. <laughs> do it, do it, sorry. I, that's what I wanted to do. I've, I've done that plenty of times. And what it happened? Does not what happened? Well, <laughs> what, what would happen? What would happen? No, we, we, she refuses to go until I tell her. <laughs> no, but it's, it's also, it's also one of those. Yeah. Uh, but it, like, it's just one of those things that I've learned that like there are some surprises that I can do and some surprises that – we both aren't fans of and it goes oh. kind of both ways like i've got things that i don't like being surprised on and so that's just one of them uh i guess that's another thing like experiment with a lot of things and figure them out and sometimes even if they say certain things mm-hmm. you gotta make sure like you experiment with different things to make sure that's correct because mm-hmm. they might not even know what they like yeah well and to some people might hold things in different regards like i know that Food for some people, some people get a lot of joy out of food. And so if you, you don't know what type of food you're having, then it's like, well, what if I'm not in the mood for it? Then am I going to just kind of be losing out on, on some of that quote unquote joy that you usually get? Mm-hmm. Um, and so different expectations of different things. Mm-hmm. So it's a lot of trial and error. Mm-hmm. And never assume. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I learned Never from it too. <laughs> <laughs> Try to learn from everything you do. I'm like, huh? Relationships mm-hmm. are complicated. <laughs> Preach. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things too that you you learn so much together, though, because just yeah. as your partner has their quirks, you've got your quirks too that you might think aren't quirks, but they are. Everybody's got their own things, and it's just learning how to. To work with the other person. Mm. Oprah had a clip with uh, Miss Miss Obama um, about how, like, in her relationship, she's been married for so long. She's like, "Yeah, in ten of years, I was upset with him." <laughs> 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 like this generation thinks dude, you're supposed to be happy. I'm like, no, relationships are tough. <laughs> yeah, hey, you see that photo that we were together? I was mad at him at that photo. <laughs> <laughs> I can't imagine being the wife of the president. It's like, did not put so much time in the work? It's like, ah, uh, I gotta continue to run. <laughs> yeah, I, I could only only imagine. I, I I think we've talked about it before, but this is kind of off. Not talking about relationships, but just the before and after photos of people before they took office and after they took office. <laughs> Those are so funny, just because it's like the amount of stress and ages people like crazy. <laughs> You have the weight of the world in your hands. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh. But, yeah, I mean, definitely I've got some photos in my albums over here, too, where it's like, 
there are fights that are happening, but it's like, you know, we have photos we have to take. Suck it up type of thing. And then you smile. And then she's like, we will fight about this later. <laughs> we get a family but, event. <laughs> yeah. Don't let but it's know normal. It. <laughs> it's all normal. Yeah. If you're in a relationship and you don't have arguments, then I feel like that's the abnormal piece. Like there are, and I want to say arguments, disagreements. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Makes sense. Now you want to do a quick BuzzFeed quiz? Yeah. Let's do it. Also curious, how much would you spend on a chair? What is the most you would spend on a chair? 70, 80 bucks. Okay. <laughs> I might have bought uh, uh, um, a pretty pricey chair. Well, there there are some good chairs that are out there that are worth it. Uh-huh. I think the chair that I'm sitting in, no, Candace's chair. I think that's like 120 or something like that. Uh-huh. But... So like, like their no... chairs range in price for for mm-hmm. sure, but if you look up like best cheap comfy chair or something like that, I think it's usually around like sixty five seventy five dollars is the sweet spot. Mm-hmm. But again, that's on the low end of prices. Mm-hmm. Did you buy like a three hundred dollar chair? A little bit more than that. Oh my god! <laughs> you don't want to know this how much this chair better massage you and everything. <laughs> you don't want to know how much. <laughs> Jeez, what is it? A a brand? Is it a branded chair? Like, is it um a Herman Miller? It's not a Herman Miller. It's not. A, I don't even know Herman Miller. It's uh, yeah. Herman Miller's a big chair company. Uh huh. I forgot what. I, I even forgot what co- company it chair. You is. didn't buy like the Y chair, did you? What is, I don't even know what the Y chair is. The I think it's called the Y chair, the X chair, or something. But it's like a two thousand dollar chair. It's close to that price range. <laughs> Jeez, it's not even out yet. It's gonna be out for the summer. <laughs> you pre-ordered a chair. <laughs> this better be the best gosh darn chair you've ever sat in. <laughs> and like when I was making my choice, I'm like, it'd be great to talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness what's it called you have to figure out what it's called anthros 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 chair that kind of oh no the x chair it pops up underneath it <laughs> <laughs> what is the x chair it's like a very ergonomic chair mm-hmm. pre-order now <laughs> oh i couldn't i couldn't do i don't mean to be bashing your chair uh-huh. i couldn't do a chair without arms you can have arms oh it got arms okay we're good <laughs> <laughs> it got arms <laughs> great yeah. english lawyer. Yeah. i put arms on mine i think you can take them off too but yeah mm-hmm. definitely arms and then um, what got me was the founders um, had an interview with Gary V, and boom, I'm hooked. Mm, that'll do it. That'll do the trick. <laughs> I need to stop watching this podcast. This is why people <laughs> like going on this podcast. <laughs> they can sell things. <laughs> yep. <laughs> they got me. <laughs> I would, if it wasn't there and I was seeing this advertisement, I'd be like, you're crazy for that amount of money? No. No, <laughs> put him on a podcast, with Gary. Yes, sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I use this chair for the rest of my life. <laughs> you will. You will. I guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> it better not break. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the saddest. I'm sure there's got some sort of warranty. Mm-hmm. Maybe you better have a warranty. You better have a warranty. <laughs> Yeah, it's not even out yet. <laughs> I went to your frequently asked questions. It says page not found. <laughs> Nobody asks questions about it just yet. Nobody has any questions to ask. Yeah, that's true. So we'll do that. Let's go with that. <laughs> okay. So, BuzzFeed quiz. I was still looking at your chair. <laughs> what you think about it? 
It looks like a good chair. I don't have anything bad to say about it. it looks like a good chair. It's supposed to support your back. <laughs> yeah, it, it looked like that was their big thing with the lower lumbar support. Mm-hmm. That's what it kind of looked like was their highlight. Mm-hmm. Most people were born in the completely wrong era. Here's which one you would fit into. Oh, let's do that one. Most people. Fluffy puppy. All righty. Here we go. Are you in? Yep. <clears throat> what era are you really from? And the first question is, which picture speaks to you the most? One is a picture of a piano and fingers. So play, somebody playing a piano. Uh, ju- juice box. Juice box. Juke juice box. box. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why was I saying juice box? It's something similar to juice box. Juke box. <laughs> 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 Somebody holding the wine glass. I was that. It's gonna be like two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, all of them have eight answers. We're just gonna go say which one you, you feel the most, and we're gonna share up that one. How about that? Okay, <laughs> that works. Yeah. Okay, for the first one. Oh man, I'm gonna go with this picture of it. Looks like a library with those ladders that are on libraries that make you help you climb up and down. That speaks to me the most because I'm in like this audio puck world. <laughs> uh, I'm hooked. <laughs> That's the exact one that I'm choosing too because I'm I'm in a a big book stage right now too. So oh, there we go. Um, what do you do to relax? I mean, I'll just read through these. Go for a walk, listen to some music, hang out with my friends, read, self-care, I don't have enough time, study, scream in the middle of the woods for a few hours. <laughs> what do you do to relax? <clears throat> I'm like between like I... go for a walk and listen to some music. I was going to say the walk one is the one that I'm choosing. Would you consider working out with the watch? That that's that yeah, I'm kind of bubbling them all together for some sort of physical activity. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's funny how like me me signing up for jiu-jitsu classes is making me more accountable to sign up for my crossfit classes. Yeah. <laughs> it's a snowball, a good snowball. Right, I'm gonna go listen to some music. Ooh, our first difference. Oh, which one of these do you enjoy the most? Meatloaf, olives, fish, bread, pop tarts, milkshakes, rock, goose, potato chips, a good quality glass of wine. I still can't glass. tell the difference between the wines. <laughs> yeah, so we, we can just put a glass of wine because <laughs> neither can I. <laughs> I'm potato chips on that. That's an easy one for me. I love, I love potato chips. I have everything here. Yeah, a glass of wine. <laughs> Cause <the> quality, <laughs> no clue. <laughs> oh, yeah, I cannot tell them apart. <laughs> uh, what is your biggest fear? The new outbreak of war, power cuts. I don't know what, oh, power cuts, like losing electricity, I'm guessing. Uh, being approached in a dark alleyway by a strange wall alone, being eaten by a lion, bears, accidentally stabbing myself. Oh, I'm going to say bears for Chicago Bears, even though I know that's not what they mean. <laughs> I'm all power cuts. Because, like, if we lose power here, 
We close. <laughs> yeah, you're in a tough spot. <laughs> Even when we had like no internet, it's like uh, cash only, guys. Cash only, cash only, cash, 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 cash. What? Sorry, Xfinity. <laughs> like, oh, okay, understandable. <laughs> yeah. But now they're they're less. Yeah, they don't do as much cutting or something out yeah. of breaks. At least here in town. Hmm. <clears throat> What are you wearing today? A casual dress and sandals, a new ball gown and bonnet, a cute shirt and jeans, who needs clothes, a blouse and a skirt, a freshly tailored suit, a blazer and pencil skirt, a toga, that's all. There's no pub. <laughs> Uh, uh, like I was wearing jeans. I don't know about the cute shirt, but I was wearing jeans today, so that's the one I'm going with. <laughs> Same. I would want to be like in a fresh tailored suit. I like the idea of being in a fresh tailored suit, but actually doing mm-hmm. it. No. No. <laughs> the idea sounds great. You look professional. Okay. But execution was... though, no. Yeah. And then the shoes. I have to make sure I have to, like put some like some padding or something in my shoes to like that little heel <laughs> mm. <laughs> um all right what's your favorite school subject leaf english math art music history science home i think they meant home ec yeah so home ec i don't know what leaf is maybe writing i don't i've got no idea english math art Music history. We'll go math. Computer programming, D plus. Oh, is that what it is? That's the first thing that came up on Wikipedia. Oh, computer so computer programming. programming for number one. Wait, what was your choice? I want math. Math. Yeah, I'm like between math and history. But I think mm-hmm. I just like math because I, I was good at it. But the history part was just like so fascinating to me. Yeah. Like, when like history repeats itself. So I'm like, what's going to happen? <laughs> Why did we do this? How can we see our future? <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Uh, yeah, history. I'm going history. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite song? Jailhouse Rock by Elvis. Literally just two sticks hitting each other by Brian. Anything classical. Everybody wants to rule the world by tears of four fears. Something on the harp. Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Silent Night by some random elementary school kids. (laughs) 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 I don't even know one song off this list. I know what I know two. I know I know three. I know the three songs. <laughs> you don't know Silent Night, Holy Night. That's the only one I know. <laughs> Billy Jean is not my lover. She's the one. Da, 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 da. Everybody wants to rule the world. Do, 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 do. Her crickets, crickets, crickets. Do the jailhouse rock. <laughs> One, two, three o'clock, four o'clock, rock. Ooh, rock. that one that rings a bell. Rock around. I think that's that I think that's a different song. Don't <laughs> that's a different song. Don't do that one. <laughs> like that one rings a bell. I feel like I, I think, that, I think that was like a nursery rhymey one. <laughs> Not really nursery rhyme, but I want everybody wants to rule the world. Just because I know that one and I think it's a good song. I'm going Sally at night. That's the only one I know. By some random elementary school kids. <laughs> um, what's your favorite color? Light blue, pastel, pink, bright yellow, gold, brown, white, mint green, hot pink. Light blue. That one's easy. Same. Yeah, same. Okay. And finally, do you believe in rebirth? The answers are, of course not. Don't be ridiculous. Um, how would that work? Yeah, bro, totally. <laughs> well, sure, anything's possible with a positive attitude. I mean, anything's possible. 
It's definitely a likely option. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm going, I mean, anything's possible. It's because who really knows, right? <laughs> Don't tell the Bible that, but... <laughs> The Bible not believe in rebirth? <laughs> no, the belief the Bible believes when you die you go to heaven. You don't come back as something else. Ah, okay. <laughs> you went to a Catholic school? <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. It's one of those things, it's like, who knows? You never really know what might happen. I'm not dead yet. I'll let you know after I die, if it's impossible or not. Um Rebirth. 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 <laughs> You're thinking long and hard about this one. <laughs> I want to be like, it's definitely a likely option. <laughs> I think there's like a different character for all the way all these are like stated. Like, yeah, bro, totally. Um, how would that Yeah, be? bro. <laughs> Totally. <laughs> it's definitely like a likely option. <laughs> yeah. I like I feel like well, like yeah, if you're like buried and die, you come back well technically your energy would go towards like grass, right? I mean technically <laughs> Or if you're eaten by a bear. Not rebirth though. Ah, it's an oh like a transfer <laughs> of energy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is basically do you believe if you die you could come back as a bunny? Or you could come back as another person. You can come back as, I don't know, an animal, a bug. Can you be um, a spiritual being? Would that be rebirth or no? No. It's not rebirth. Uh, it's definitely like a like option. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with that one. Okay. Oh. Dun dun dun! Wait 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 wait! Sorry, what'd you get? I got the nineteen eighties. What'd you get? Victorian era. Why you got the Victorian era? What is the Victorian era? It's like Queen Victoria. I don't know if it's on the 50s. Queen. 1837 to 1901. And the 50s. <laughs> 1837, 1901. You have a taste for things more classical and traditional, which is no easy feat today. You take pride in not liking what's trendy, basic, or popular at the time. You're used to standing out from a crowd and keeping a mysterious aura to yourself. I think that's just Silent Night. <laughs> well, in the books. In the books. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. History. Uh-huh. Yeah. A little bit of all. Hey, wait, what's your 1980s description? It says, can it really be considered history? I don't think so, but you're the 80s. You like bold fashion that involves experimenting with prints, colors, and accessories. You prefer your tunes to have an upbeat tone even if the lyrics are a bit deeper. And if the Brat Pack ain't in it, you're not seeing that movie. I don't know who the Brat Pack is. Brat Pack. Interesting. Wait, that works. Boom. Interesting. Huh. We could just say, question of the day is, what era do you think you vibe with, or not vibe with, but are, are from? Kind of like how we just took that test. What's your frequency? Yeah, what's your what's your frequency? Uh, if you were to have a frequency for an era, <laughs> uh, the vibes are off. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I saw a TikTok video of this guy, um, a comedian, of course, asked the audience like, um, "So, are you seeing anybody?" And the guy was like, "No, um, I'm single." But he's like. But I'm working on myself. And like the crowd <laughs> cheers. And of course the comedian's like an older guy. Like, what well, what does that mean? <laughs> You're single. <laughs> See, that's, that's a younger generation. <laughs> they put a positive or not with being single. I'm working on myself. And I'm the working uh, myself. and the crowd cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, that's it. <laughs> Uh, but let us know what you guys think era you belong in. If you are more classical or more, I guess, modern or few and far between, let us know where you guys think that that your quote unquote vibe falls within. Um, and then side note, let us know if you're working on yourself too. Um, but we can highlight the majority of the eras next episode. Uh, if you guys have anything that you want us to talk about too, let us know. Cause we're always happy to, touch on any topics that you guys want our expert opinions on but we appreciate you all for taking the time out of your weeks to listen to us rant about lots of different topics today i'm mainly i feel like it was mainly sports today uh but we appreciate you letting us talk your ears off um and we look forward to talking with you guys more in a few days but in the meantime before next episode stay safe give somebody a hug and make sure to tell someone you love them but we will talk with you guys more next week thank you guys peace